Okay. Um, let's go ahead and do this series of one-step conversions. These are nice, um, basic conversions. They're, uh, you just use the conversion factor that's given to you and cancel out the units you don't want, giving you the units that the problem asks for. So let's start with A, uh, 155.5 centimeters. We're going to use that conversion factor up at the top. One meter equals 100 centimeters. So we're going to just put the centimeters in the denominator. Meters up top, so 155.5 divided by 100 is going to give you 1.555 meters. Same strategy for B. One kilogram equals 1,000 grams. So we're going to take 2491.6 grams divide that by a thousand grams, multiply by one kilogram, giving us 2.4916 kilograms. You gotta remember to have the correct number of significant figures and the units in these problems. So this next one really emphasizes that um, 248 centimeters so if we use the conversion factor given to us, one centimeter equals 10 millimeter, millimeters, oh my goodness. Um, we're going to put the centimeters at the bottom, millimeters up top, and that's going to cancel out the centimeters. But when we multiply that, we get 2480 millimeters. Now that last zero is not significant. So we want to make sure to write the answer uh, like I've done up at the top and 2.48 times 10 to the third millimeters or 2480 millimeters. Make sure not to put a decimal place after that zero. It's probably best if you just keep it in scientific notation. And anyways, let's uh, do this last problem. One, uh, use the, using the conversion factor, one liter equals a thousand mil. We're going to take 6,781 mils and convert them to liters by putting the milliliters uh, on the bottom and the liters on top. That'll cancel out our mills, leaving us with liters, giving us a final answer of 6.781 liters. Let me know if you have any questions on this one.